What is the most NSFW thing you have seen at an office gathering or party? NSFW. Went as a date to a lawyer girl's work party. Open bar. Phenomenal food. Everything was amazing except the smell periodically through the night. Turns out one of the younger interns found out he never got the job opening. So he shit himself and drank all night. Acting as if nothing ever happened. He sure showed them. He went around smiling and everything. Gave zero fucks. We bought our boss sexy Santa lingerie as a gag gift. She tried it on in front of us and proceeded to do a strip tease dance all the while screaming out how her husband was going to love this. She's 54. Edit, I worked at a call center. I am a female, was 16 years old at the time, so the answer was, still is. No I did not particularly enjoy it. That's how you assert dominance. When I was a teenager I volunteered to DD at a fancy dinner for the local RCMP detachment. Police had some bigwigs from provincial headquarters and such. I think it was like the station's 50th anniversary or something similar. Jesus Christ. One cop got on stage with the band and started singing. Was really good actually. One female cop dancing on a table broke it and went face first into the floor. Kept on partying once the blood stopped. There was a young new cop that year, ripped good looking guy. So this guy was getting panties thrown at him left right and center. Driving him and his current date home they fucked in the back seat. He slipped me $20 and told me I saw nothing. I saw everything. Next trip the cop and his wife were drunk but nothing outrageous. But as they were getting out he casually tossed what ended up being a pair of thong panties into the front seat and saying something I didn't quite hear. I assume they were from the previous couple. And my favorite was driving one of the higher ranking PICE officers in my province back to his hotel and he just fell over as I rounded a curve like a tree, unconscious, had to get hotel staff to help drag him out, now imagine all this with Mounties dressed in their ad surge, and these are just the things I saw, my buddies who wording have similar tales, hard to take a cop seriously when he's giving you a ticket for speeding in a car you watched him finger a girl's ass in, went out for drinks with co-workers after service, it was a lunch focused restaurant, and by the end of the night, one of our cashiers decided to lactate on me from across the table. Last year's work Christmas party. One woman, known for over drinking, over drank. She came to sit at the table I was at and proceeded to sit down, where the WSS no chair. Straight on her ass. Later that night she was grinding on one of the boss's girlfriends and apparently tried to talk the boss and his girl into a three way. She is still confused why she didn't get the promotion she was going for at the time. That would have granted her a company credit card and had her taking clients out to dinners. Company credit card and taking clients out for dinner might sound awesome, but all I'm hearing is working in your off time and more paperwork. First Christmas party at a tech startup. Go to the bathroom towards the end of the night. Realize mid piss that the sounds coming from the stall next mine are the CTO and his wife going at it. Step out of the stall and the CEO and some sales guys are doing lines. CEO sees me and shouts, Hey, it's Jared. My name isn't Jared. He called me Jared for about six mos after that until I pulled him aside and corrected him one day. Fun times. Our company Christmas party had a tequila ice luge. One of our class A drivers got so wasted he was doing flips on the dance floor and juggling Corona bottles. Then he went and sat on a 19 year old girl's lap and her mom went ballistic. He was kicked out and proceeded to drive himself home. What a guy. Edit. Let me answer a couple of questions. It's a rock and roll type company so heavy drinking is accepted. Not driving drunk though, both mum and daughter work for the company and are quite bitchy. Driver is late thirties, he drove for the circus for years and apparently picked up a couple tricks along the way. The worst part of him driving was the company paid for Ubers to and from the party. Oh, and no not Wisconsin. Why did a 19 year old invite her mum? Or, why did some middle aged woman invite her 19 year old? 
I saw a woman squirt champagne from her vagina into the mouth of the woman who juicy inserted a champagne bottle into said vagina. I worked as a porn editor at the time, so it was appropriate to the situation. Didn't witness this one but heard that this happened just a few months before I was hired. We had a wine tasting for the managers with just some cheese, minor hors etc. One particular manager got completely sloshed on wine and got super flirty with another manager from a different department who was significantly younger and good looking. At some point, this young lady put some scented lotion on her hands. Smelling this, the drunk manager came over to her and pulled his dick out and asked her to put some lotion on the two. Right in the middle of the room and tasting. I heard he was gone instantly. He was recently found out to currently be a tour guide on a duck boat and a bad one at that. Tour guide on a duck boat? I have no idea what that means, and I also realize I have no idea what ducks do in their free time. I think it's one of those buses that turn into a boat. Saw a drunk dude getting a handy under the table from another drunk dude, both of them were supposedly straight when not drunk. Bro job bro job bro job. Used to work for a big bank. We had a little potluck for Christmas, and long story short about two hours later, someone shit in the bathroom and smeared it literally, and I mean literally, all over the bathroom stalls. The wall, the stall door handle, the toilet sensor, fucking everywhere. It looked like a XXL Hershey bar stepped on an eyed. We never did quite catch the elusive poop handle bandit. Legend says he's still out there, ravaging the latrines of financial institutions to this day. We never did quite catch the elusive poop handle bandit. Please, at least give the poop artist the correct title. We can only assume they were not banditing anything and made a mural with their own droppings. Worked in a warehouse for a while, we had regular awards nights where we'd all get fucked up and hand out stupid awards like driver of the year for the person who had the worst forklift accident, or who crashed a work car. Other things of note, one doing lines with the boss off his desk every party, two married co-workers banging in the car park, three the mentally handicapped, and very drunk cleaner getting wrapped in packing tape by three guys. Four having forklift traces in the aisles of the warehouse, forklifts being driven by guys who are plastered. Five using forklifts to lift each other to the roof of the warehouse. I don't miss my old job but damn I miss the parties. My husband's old company decided that they weren't going to invite spouses to the Christmas party. Okay. I dropped him off so he could drink freely no big deal. After he called me to pick him up I ended up waiting in my car for nearly half an hour, watching some of his male co-workers through the window getting lap dances from some female co-workers. There's likely a reason the bosses decided to not invite spouses. It means that they didn't have to bring their own spouses either and they could let loose for lack of a better term. They were really cheap. Some people had gone without a raise in four years. I can't believe they even had a party. Karaoke, started with two assistants, both women, doing a ballad together, in rapid succession, on the stage, and with plenty of drinks between the following things happened, those two women sing a few songs while clutching each other and giggling the entire time, some less than wholesome dancing together to a George Michael song, remaining on the stage one of them sits in a rolling chair while the other serenades, gives a lap dance to her to Santa baby. At this point another woman in the office decides it's best to throw some cold water on this party by cutting off the karaoke and play a Christmas music CD, first song is all I want for Christmas is you. The two women turn this into what seems like the perfect song to sexy slow dance to, much caressing and grinding happening. They are finally broken up once they start making out and light groping Yakatha while trying to hide behind a Santa hat that one of them is holding up covering their faces. Oh boy. It was at our annual awards dinner where they award department of the year, employee of the year, a couple other things for people who'd been there a long time. Woman from my department showed up with a bottle of vodka in her purse, the meal was free. The booze wasn't, and it was expensive. So people at the table were getting sodas, free, 
and mixing at the table. It happened every year, the venue mostly overlooked it. Woman who brought the bottle drank quite a lot of it. I mean, probably half of it herself over the course of the evening. When the dancing started later on she was boom bead. She was wearing this strappy dress that she kept falling out of. At one point she was pulling it up, too to show off her thong. At some point she lost said thong and was sitting on the stage with her skirt pushed up to her hips and showing off everything. She got fired.